Canada is a global leader in promoting and demonstrating forest certification. Forest certification uses an independent third-party verification system to ensure that a forest is being sustainably managed to balance environmental, economic, and social needs and values. Ontario is a provincial leader in the forest certification movement and has amongst the highest percentage of certified forest in Canada. As a result, local primary and secondary wood manufacturers have a bountiful supply of certified wood with which to craft their products. An associated tool that complements forest certification is Chain of Custody Certification, or COC. COC also uses a third-party mechanism that outlines a verifiable audit process for tracking wood from a certified forest through the various value-added manufacturing stages to become a certified, labeled end product. By becoming Chain of Custody certified, an Ontario company can participate in the burgeoning domestic and export markets for certified wood products. The Ontario Wood Initiative is a local buying initiative. To be an Ontario wood producer, you have to provide us with evidence that the wood is coming from sustainably managed forests. Not necessarily certified. Certified would be great because then we don't really have to follow up. It's easy to prove that you're using certified wood with a chain of custody. As end consumer awareness grows around the meaning of various third-party sustainability labels, such as chain of custody, their demand for these greener products also grows. Given a preference, many informed consumers will choose the certified wood alternative. Certified products tend to be trending upwards. So certified products are much easier to find in retail uh, uh, distribution channels, uh, such as the big box stores and independent stores, because customers are demanding those products. The construction industry is also driving a lot of the current demand for certified wood products as savvy project proponents, developers, architects and builders seek to gain some form of third-party certification for their green building projects, such as provided by the Green Globe System or the LEED System. Right now, in the building industry, there's a huge acceptance and recognition of the LEED standard. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental design. And that's a rating system that is administered by the Canadian Green Building Council. And um, it's been adopted uh, throughout the building industry, but in particular it's being adopted by uh, different levels of government as a standard for determining the uh, energy efficiency and environmental sustainability and responsibility of uh, building projects. And it works on a, uh, a point-gathering system. You get uh, points for making your, your building more energy efficient. You get points for uh, reducing water consumption. Uh, and you also get points for using certified wood products as well. So this is a key uh, component, a key uh, strategy that architects and, and developers can use in achieving a LEED certification. Some of the developers we're working with uh, want all of their projects to be LEED Platinum, which is the highest possible environmental rating and certification standard. If you want to achieve a high rating in the LEED system, it's inevitable that you're going to be wanting to use uh, certified wood products. And that means not just in uh, lumber, but also for trim, for kitchen cabinetry, anything that uh, is originally made out of wood products has the potential to be FSC certified. Local suppliers that have their chain of custody certification have a distinct marketing advantage over those that do not because they are able to compete in this growing domestic market for certified wood. Whenever we start a project and we start looking at um, what we can afford and what is available, there's always a searching process going on. Uh, where can we get the products that we need to use? 
and it's a combination of what's going to be certified, what's going to be local, and what is going to be a healthy uh, product for the job at hand. So it's a combination of different factors. And if we can get a product which does all of these things, it's local and it's FSC, then we are getting multiple payback in terms of our lead approach to a project. On the export side of the equation, demand for certified wood from foreign buyers is also on the rise. And those Ontario manufacturers who have their chain of custody certification are well positioned to compete in this ever-expanding international marketplace. The export markets are trending way up uh, in terms of certified products. And the other area that's um, huge for Canadian and Ontario producers is in Europe. And in Europe, things are changing there with regards to uh, being able to um, export Ontario-made wood products across the EU. And this is changing quite a bit in March of 2013 when the European Union will require, again, evidence or proof from the exporter of where that wood was originally sourced. Certification, again, goes a long way to proving that. And it's just not the United States and Europe as well. It's the Asian producers, particularly China, that also requires certified wood because they're an intermediary manufacturer. They require that sourced wood from uh, jurisdictions like Ontario or across Canada from certified sources so they can produce and uh, wood products in those areas and then ship them back into the European Union or uh, the United States as certified products. So be ready, have your capacity uh, there, have chain of custody. Whether you have those markets or not, they're going to appear in the, in the future. To find out more about forest or chain of custody certification in Ontario, please visit the Eastern Ontario Model Forest at eomf.on.ca or call 613-258-8422.